Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Thomas if you're brand new here and I make style and hair related videos every single week. So if that's your kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button and come back every single week. And please remember to hit the like button if you enjoy what you see today. It really helps me get my content further out there. So just FYI. <laughs> so in today's video, we're going to be talking about things that you can do to reduce your chances of hair loss. I don't want you guys to think that this video is the one-stop shop for how you can actually prevent it completely from happening because for me to say that would be incorrect and I actually just wanted to bring to the surface a few things that I don't think it gets talked about enough in the hair community and it's just really good to know this kind of stuff so we're gonna get into that and yeah, I don't think there's really much else I need to <laughs> explain. So there is many reasons for hair loss. Ever since I've been growing my hair out, right, I've developed this obsession with hair growth, how it works, how you can make it faster, how you can make it better, all the things. But also incorporated inside that subcategory is hair loss and why it happens. And usually the reason people go looking for hair growth products is because they are actually losing their hair. For me, I wasn't losing my hair at all. I already had a great head of hair growing, I just wanted to make it grow faster, but it came part and parcel. A few things I figured out, hair loss can be caused from mul um, like a magnitude of things, right? You can have a vitamin deficiency, it could be from stress, it could actually be from a wound, like if you've cut your head open somewhere, I actually am one of those as well. I have a scar on the back of my head that no one knows about, and the reason that got created was because I was playing Jack in the Box once, and I fell over, hit my head on the side of the wall, and now I have a scar, and there's no hair that grows in that spot. But the most common cause, this is the information that's out in the public, um, the most common cause of male pattern baldness is a thing called DHT. Now, I'm gonna try and keep it as less technical as I possibly can because I know this isn't a science channel. What DHT is, is testosterone that has been converted into another hormone by an enzyme, right? So the enzyme that converts the testosterone is called alpha-5 reductase, and it turns testosterone into DHT. So the actual word for DHT is, that's the shortened version, but the actual word is dihydrotestosterone. In like layman's terms, it's probably just testosterone on steroids. That's the best way for me to explain it because it's the actual hormone that's been converted into another hormone that does a certain thing. Now DHT in our bodies for males is very needed. It helps our penises form when we're growing in our mum's tummy and it also helps our balls drop and it actually helps us grow hair on our body when we're going through puberty, right? But DHT has been proven to be detrimental to hair growth on the head. So when there's too much DHT happening in the body, It'll attach to the follicles that are in your scalp, and what it does is it actually strangles them, it shrinks them, and as they get smaller and smaller, they get unhealthier, the hair cycle gets shorter, and then eventually the actual follicle just completely disappears, which appears as male pattern baldness. That's what's actually happening. And the most susceptible parts on your head are the sides and the crown. That's why when men start balding, you'll see that that's where it starts to go first, or it starts to go here. Makes sense, right? And what's actually happening is there's too much DHT going around in their body, it's connecting to those vulnerable parts of the head, and that's why it's happening. So yeah, that's a little bit about DHT, how it's formed, what it does, and a few of the common causes of hair loss. But what can you do to put in place to like prevent this? Well, there's actually quite a few options out there, and the first one I would recommend, if, you, if you're not losing any hair right now, and you wanna know ways that you can do your best to prevent it, I would look in getting a DHT blocking shampoo. If you're constantly using a DHT blocking shampoo, you're actually doing the best you can to keep DHT at bay in your scalp, which means it lessens your chances of even losing any hair from male pattern baldness anyway. Male pattern baldness can also be like hereditary as well, so you can have a look at your dad's scalp or your mum's dad's scalp. I can't remember where it comes from in the family, but if you know you've got male pattern baldness that happens in the family, I know my dad gets it, um, especially on his crown. Look, it's just something to be aware of, and if you're not losing hair yet and you wanna like do your best to prevent it, I would just look at a DHT blocking shampoo because it's increasing your chances of not losing hair, if that makes sense. So, but what are the solutions for people that are losing their hair, you know what I mean? My best advice for that, I am not a hair loss professional, but my best advice, if you are losing any of your hair right now, is to go straight to a hair, hair loss clinic and actually get it diagnosed. Because this, like, over your whole life, every, every facet of your life, when there's a problem, if you don't understand the underlying cause of the problem, 
you're never really gonna be able to fix it properly. So it's in your best interest. If you notice that you're losing hair and you wanna keep it, it's best to get straight to a clinic like that, get it diagnosed, and then they can give you the best options of what to do. One of my housemates actually has been to a hair loss clinic before to try and get solutions. And I was just exchanging notes with him and I said, oh my God, I just found out all this cool stuff about DHT and da 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 and he actually said, oh my god, that's the exact problem that I had when I went to the hair loss clinic, right? And then he pulls out the finasteride and I was like, no freaking way. So finasteride is one of the treatments that a hair loss uh, clinic can provide to you. And what this, what this treatment does is it lowers the rate of 5-alpha that's in your scalp. Uh, they also have needles that they can inject it with. It's a little bit like invasive, but what it does is it lowers those um, those enzymes, so the DHT production isn't as high, therefore the hair loss doesn't happen as much. And my housemate, he said after he started taking the DHT blocking treatment, his hair loss has actually come to a halt. It doesn't guarantee to grow the hair back, but it slows it down, right? It slows it down, or if not, it just stops it off there so you don't lose any more hair, which essentially, that is probably the first step. And once you get that, there's all other treatments you can get. You can get the toupees if you want. You can get, you can even get hair implants. So what they actually do is they take a piece of, you know, your scalp and they'll put it on wherever you're losing the hair and then the hair actually binds back in and starts growing again. And because the DHT is lowered, it's actually got a chance to grow again. So there is so many different things that are available. And yeah, the, the biggest thing is though, is when you see the problem, act straight up because you really have to find out what is causing it before you can actually deal with it properly. It's like anything in your life. Huh, <gasps> this is gonna be a long one, I think. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to bring to the table. I just feel like there's not enough talk about this DHT problem, what causes male pattern baldness, and just the solutions that are available. I can understand it would be quite scary for anybody that is losing their hair to go, oh, but I don't think they can help me, or oh, I'm embarrassed about it, or oh, I'm this, I'm that. I understand that completely, but at the same time, if you want your hair and, and you want to keep it growing, or you want to do the best for yourself for it, it's probably the best idea, and I would encourage you to go and try it out, because if they can solve the problem, you'll be like, fuck, I'm so glad I did that. You know what I mean? And then you don't have to suffer with any more hair loss. That's essentially what I'm getting at there. Whether you are losing hair or not, I still would recommend going and checking out a DHT blocking shampoo. Uh, you don't have to do the Waterman's one. I will leave all the resources that I've gone and found. I've done so much reading. I've even written a blog post on my own website about this. So I'll give you all the information in the description box below. And it's actually something that's very, very interesting. And I'm so glad I'm finding it all now because yeah, I'm gonna get old one day and I'm gonna start losing my hair one day, I guarantee it. And, you know, if I'm gonna run this channel, I can't afford that to be happening. So, uh, it's in my best interest too, you know? And it's just good to educate people and myself on what's going on out there and what's available. If you wanna be a part of my uh, Facebook group where we talk all about hair, there will be a link in the description box below. Uh, you just go over to the chatbot and the chatbot will give you the link and it'll sort you out from there. It's pretty self-explanatory and I'd really like to see you in there. Um, other than that, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, and I'll see you next week for another one. Goodbye!